Good evening. I'm Rod Baker. This is God and Rod. Do you know your fears? Do you know what you're afraid of? <clears throat> I've spent the last 25 years examining myself. I'm clean and sober, and I got clean and sober 25 years ago, and so I have spent all these years examining myself, working on myself. So I can testify to this, that every year I take an inventory. I take an inventory in October of every year. <clears throat> and not only do I look at my qualities, but I also look at my fears. I examine myself. This year, my biggest quality was patience. Patience. And the only fear I could find was narcissistic witches. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not afraid of them. The only fear I could find was losing my understanding of God. That's the only thing I could find. But I have examined my fears for a long time. And so I, I you know, I plead with you. Please, take a look at your fears. They're the only things that hold you back. That's all that holds you back is that which you are afraid of. I read in Psalms a long time ago, for those of you who, who like the word and count on the word. And, and you know, I'm going to compare it to this. I'm going to compare the, the word or the Bible or, or um, whatever else. If, if you can't see it as, as the word of God, if you can't see it as you know, um, uh, encouraging um, stories of testimonies of others that des describe their relationship with God. If you can't see it that way, then look at it like this. How many self-help books do you have on your shelves? What do you have sitting on your nightstand right now? Why don't you include it? Is it too big? Is it too controversial? Is it too complex? Are you one of those that say that it just, it, it's a conspiracy or it contradicts itself? Are you one of those? Because let me tell you something. There's not a book out there that's not controversial. There's not a book out there that doesn't contradict itself at some point point in time. I know I'm a writer. But see, people grow. When I was a child, I thought as a child. I spoke as a child and I understood as a child. But now that I'm a man, I put away those childish things, including fear. The only fear we're born with is the fear of falling. You overcome that, and you've overcome the only fear you were born with. All the rest of them were man-made, man-given. What's in the dark, I promise you, is in the light. It is. It just looks different. So it is written in Psalms. Matter of fact, Psalms 34, I believe. Let's just look. I got it right here. Let's just look. Oh, there it is, right there. Yeah. I sought, I sought the Lord. Doesn't even say I did what he told me or, um, or, or I, uh, 
doesn't even say I believed him. It just says I saw it. I looked for the Lord. And he heard me. He heard me. He heard me looking for him. And delivered me from all my fears. Now, King David wrote that. And King David is an actual figure of history. So all of these self-help and inspirational books that you've been buying or that you've been listening to and things like that, just then ask God. Give God a chance. Seek him. Just seek him. See what happens. To me, the most beautiful beautiful thing in this world is courage. Courage. You know, you might be a heavy set person who, you know, doesn't ever want to take their clothes off in front of somebody. The minute you do, that's courageous. I mean, it's not the same thing as a fireman pulling out kids from a burning building, but it's still courageous. Our fears are measurable. Just like our faith. Give it a chance. Just give it a chance. Good day.